had someone accused us of behaving without wisdom. How can then we accuse Allah Almighty of that same charge when He is the very giver of our wisdom? So He gives us wisdom from Him, then we use our deficient wisdom to challenge His perfect wisdom. Does that make sense? SubhanAllah. To take from you martyrs. Those practicing Muslims who breathe their last beneath the debris of a fallen building were individuals chosen by Allah for the gift of shahada martyrdom. And it's a highly selective process. Martyrdom is the greatest station that is humanly attainable after the position of prophethood, which has now been sealed shut, and then Siddiqiyah. And this position of martyrdom is not exclusive to those who die fighting for a just cause. In fact, there's no less than 20 ways that martyrdom in Islam can be attained. As Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, he mentions, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, al-shuhada'u khamsa, the martyrs are five. Al-mat'oonu, wal-mabtoonu, wal-gharaqu, wa sahibu al-hadmi, wa shahidu fi sabilillah. He says, they are those who die because of a plague, or those who die because of an abdominal disease, or those who die because of drowning, or those who die because of a falling building, or those who die as martyrs in the path of Allah. Now, no doubt, I know it can be difficult to remember this at the moment of a heartbreaking scene of death. But believe me, had the deceased, the one who died, been able to talk, they would reassure us that they are perfectly content with where they are and that they would not choose the company of people over the company of Allah. And Allah told us of the believer, Habib al Najjar, who was killed by his community for inviting them to Islam, Surah Yaseen. And after he was taken to paradise, he said, Ya layta qawmi ya'lamun. I wish my people knew. Of how my, my Lord has forgiven me and made me of the honorable ones. Subhanallah. So to take from you martyrs, they are content where they are, but we don't see that. See, issues will always arise when we measure the events of life according to our deficient human standards instead of the perfect standards of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we assess tragedies through a purely a worldly lens that excludes the hereafter from the equation.